morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope that um, those of you that are not camping this weekend, because I know so many people that are camping, um, are excited to get some crafting done today. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull you up here like usual so that we can actually talk along together. Okay, there you are. Okay, so it's a long weekend. I know that we talk about this. Well, we don't talk about this. I talk about this practically every time I come on. Um, but you know what? Here's my long weekend hair. And you know, the reason I talk about so much about my hair is because, good morning, um, it's a lot. Like curly hair is a lot. And I know all you girls out there that have curly hair, I know that you feel me. I know that you get it. Um, but it's been really hot. So we've been um, experiencing really high highs this week. Um, and today it's coming down a little bit. I'm actually looking outside right now and I can see the clouds kind of coming in. And we're going to have um, a fill like our whole week is filled with rain this coming week so um anyway this is how i've been wearing my hair kind of like for the last few days it's just big on top of my head my little head wrap i actually ordered a couple of more of these i ordered um, a couple more colors because i quite like how it keeps my hair off my face um but anyway this is what you're getting for this weekend um i cooked dog food all day yesterday and so it was really really hot and Anyway, has nothing to do with anything other than I've been keeping my hair up off my head. So, good morning, good morning. Scrapbooking is, well, you know what? You have to be a lover of all things camping. I think scrapbooking is better than camping. However, I am not trying to offend any campers because camping is super fun. I don't hate it as long as I'm not sleeping in a tent. Um, yes, I am totally that girl. I don't like the tent camping. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not slamming to camping at all, but I do think scrapbooking is better than camping. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hey, Scott. Hey, mom. Hey, Carrie, Chris, Gail, Jennifer. Nice to see you all. So see, there's not, not everybody's camping this weekend. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so that's us here. It's been hot. We cooked dog food all yesterday. Um, my parents are so awesome and came and helped me cook the dog food. We started cooking for our dogs about two years ago. One of our dogs actually got kind of sick. Um, and they wanted to put her on, you know, like the vet food. And again, I'm not slamming anything. The problem with that food was it didn't have any nutrients in it. Like none. Like when I started looking into what they wanted to put her on, it would have corrected the problem that she was having which was crystals in her urine, um, but it wasn't going to give her any nutrition. So I started researching different types of foods. So obviously cooking for your dogs is a really big job and it's expensive and all of the things. But anyway, I, put, I did it to see if she would get better. And it, within two weeks, that dog was healthy as can be, fit as a fiddle, no issues. So then I never stopped cooking for them. So we have four dogs, you guys. So we cook for our dogs, four dogs, two meals every day. It's seven cups of food for every meal. So it's 14 cups of cooked food a day, which is a lot. And I generally just cook every other day. Sometimes every day I'm cooking dog food. So you didn't ask, but I'm telling you this anyway. So in case there's anybody out there that here's the thing, cooking for your dogs fixes 95% of any issues you're having with your dogs. Of course, it's not going to cure cancer or anything like that. However, if you cook for your animals, it is actually going to make them healthier. It's just a fact, just the way life, the way that it is. So anyway, short story, really, really long. You didn't come here for a dog talk, but I'm just going to finish telling you. That's what I did yesterday. My parents came over. They're amazing. They go to Costco for me every couple of weeks and get a ton of dog meat, um, well, a ton of meat. And then yesterday we spent the whole day just cooking. So we cooked a two weeks worth of food. And so then I just freeze um, like a week and a half of it. I keep a few days out. And yeah, anyway, that's my story. That's what I did yesterday. So it was a super hot day. It was probably a bad day to do it. But my dad barbecues a lot of the meat, which is really, really great. So it's outside and it's all the things. Um, no, you didn't miss me this week, Melinda. No, no, I did Sunday still. Still Sunday. 
Um, not camping this weekend. Yeah, absolutely, Amanda. Yeah, if you can scrapbook and camp together, that's amazing. Um, that's funny, Jennifer. No, I wasn't bashing camping at all. I do enjoy camping. Like I said, not in a tent, though. Um, oh, good call, Tanya. That was smart going last weekend. Um, I have done a decent amount of camping with Scott. This is really funny, actually. I tent camped. Scott loves tent camping, like loves it. So does our son. Um, but I tent camped with Scott before we got married. And then I told him I didn't like tent camping. False advertising, maybe. Kind of. I've still gone camping since. I just don't love sleeping on the ground. And to be fair, I also did go camping after we got married with a toddler who still had soothers and we lost one in the middle of the night and it was the worst night of camping ever in the history of the universe. Ever. Ever. So I feel like I'm a little bit like I've kind of fought a war a little bit with tent camping and I it I just it's not my thing. <laughs> Not my thing. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Lindsay, I freeze it. Yeah, I just, um, I, f I keep a few days in the fridge. And then when I'm like a day ready to get more, I just pull it out, put it in the fridge, and then it's thawed out by the next day. So it's all good. Um, but yeah, no, it is. It's much healthier. I, but it's, it's not, it's not, an econo it's not economical at all. Um, and it's not for everyone for sure. Uh, but it was, I started it and I couldn't really stop. So, I mean, I could stop. I'm sure I could stop. We, they were eating really good food before, but, um, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Nobody came here to talk about dog food. Um, Scott, yes. And there were grizz. Okay. So that's the other thing too. There were grizzly bears in the area that we were tent camping and I am blind as a bat. Obviously I, need glasses and I got out of the tent first thing in the morning and I ran to go to the bathroom but I didn't put my glasses on and then it was coming back from the bathroom walking along the path and there were freaking bears on the path like it's just not my th you guys I mean it's just not my thing so between a crying toddler all night sleeping on the ground and bears it, it's just not for me but you know whatever <laughs> Samantha see that yes but I've seen your tent spot you've posted pictures of your camping that you do with your wi-fi heat and air conditioning yeah oh my gosh so funny um more expensive than raw to buy pre-made Carolyn yeah so I don't feed raw I do cook it but I buy like human food and I cook it for them so I've got all kinds of recipes that I use and um but they've got their favorite foods they're pretty they're all pretty they like their specific vegetables and things so um yeah no it is it's more expensive but then I also kind of feel like if I'm keeping them healthier with food I'm probably cutting down on vet bills in the long run so glamping is the only way absolutely you guys we've got some great cut files coming out for camping so for all you campers um we've got some cut files coming out the camping ones I don't think are coming out until July, I think, um, but we've already been working on them. So yeah, for all you campers and glampers, don't worry. There's some things coming for you guys. We've been thinking about you for sure. Um, yeah, I'm oversleeping on the ground. I just am. <laughs> it is what it is. You tented with two kids. Oh my God, Val, two kids, a Bring her spaniel and you were seven months pregnant. You win an award for sure. Oh my goodness. All right, ladies. Well, like I said, you all came today to do some scrapbooking, some crafting. So um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the things that I've got going on for you this week. Um, oh, Heather. Yes. You know what? I I got your message, obviously, and we had those on the list. There was one. I, th I can't remember which one it was. I think it was mountains. Something that you had suggested anyway that we didn't have on our list. So it was a great suggestion and we've added it. So um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So 
Some things I want to talk about real quick before we get scrapbooking. Um, the prize from last week. Oh, the prizes, the like when I did the six prizes, those are all mailed out. They're mailed snail mail. So for all you winners, um, you'll see them hopefully in the next week or so. But anyway, those are mailed out. This prize from last week, which was the um, Hello Today die cuts that I found, that was drawn and that winner is Naomi. And it's your last name. It starts with an H. I'm going to probably butcher it. Um, it's H R Y N I U K, and I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna even try to say it. So Naomi H, I think I saw you come on here this morning. So congratulations, your name was drawn. Those will go out to you in the mail, um, this week. So congratulations to you. I have my list, so I'm just gonna keep crossing things off as I talk about them. Um, what else? This week's prize for the layout. So if you do the layout and you um, post it and share with us, you are gonna we're gonna do a ten dollar coupon code for the website, so you get ten dollars off your next purchase. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you are here. I thought you were. Um, yeah, congratulations, Naomi, for sure. So yeah, this week is a ten dollar ten dollars off your next purchase on the website. So post your layouts and tag us or post them in the Facebook group. If you're not part of the Facebook group, it's Jennifer Edwardson making more memories in groups on Facebook. Just click the join. There's a couple of quick questions there. Just basically telling you that we want you to be nice um, on in the group and then you'll get approved and then you'll be a part of the Facebook group as well, which is amazing. Um, Chris, the first time you slept in a tent was on his fifth grade Hornby. How did you escape sleeping in a tent all the way until Nick's fifth grade camping trip? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> um, oh, hey, Kristen. Hi, how are you? Yes, Heather, be excited. They're they're actually really cute. They're coming along. We've started them. They're not finalized yet, but uh, they're pretty cute. Hey, Teresa. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, $10 off if you post and we do the draw. Okay, so that's for this week. Okay, so next, I just want to give you a reminder, Tuesday is the very last day for the creative team um, application deadline. You guys, you've been amazing. I am so grateful to everyone that has applied. Um, I'm going to try to reply to everybody. I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not, um, but we had some amazing applications. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you that took the time to put your application together and to put yourself out there like that because I know how hard that can be, especially if it's not your thing. It, I know it's really out of a lot of people's comfort zones and I just want to say that I really appreciate you doing that. I said, it, you know, it's it's something that this is really, it means a lot to me. I've been on a ton of great in, uh, creative teams. I know what that feels like when you press that send button and you're sending your work. You know, art, of course, is so subjective, but it's so personal and um, um, I, I know that that's just really hard. So thank you so much for all the applications that have come in. If you do still want to apply, you have a couple more days. So all the information is on the blog. Um, and there's six month terms. I had a message about that and I didn't even think to put that in the blog post. I'm really sorry. I'm going to add that and update it. Uh, but there, it's a six month term for the first, um, I think I talked about it, but I don't know that it's in text in the blog. So anyway, um, yeah, it is six months. I am absolutely doing it again in six months. And yeah, like we really want to hang on to a creative team and I think it's just going to be really so much fun for everybody. I'm really looking forward to opening my business up to more creative people. So um, like I said, thank you so much for all of you that have applied so far. And if you have been thinking about it and you just haven't had the chance, you still have a couple more days. So Tuesday is the deadline. Okay. So that is that. I'm checking that off my list that I have told you. Um, Yes, yeah, so new cut files. I talked a little bit about this already, but ones that I have coming out right away, first of all, the travel cut files. I'm using two of them today, so I'm going to show you that. Um, so the travel cut files are amazing. They're on the website. They're selling like hotcakes. If you have, we've all traveled. We may not be traveling right now, but um, those are on the website right now. Go get those. You're going to love them, and I think you're going to like how I've used a couple of them today. Um, I also have some... Um, last day of school and a couple of grad. So I've got a couple, I think there's two or three um, end of school cut files. And then there's a couple for grad. 
Those are coming out. I feel like I want to say it's June 1st. I would have to look in my book. I have a schedule. I've written out a schedule. I'm trying to be so organized now. I believe they're coming out June 1st. Then also the same time we're doing, there's a handful of Father's Day ones. So ones that you can adapt for a card and then also for um, layout. So those are coming too for Father's Day. Okay, so watch for those. Um, and then the last thing that I want to talk to you about um, is... I have a sale for you today. So it's active right now. The It is an automatic discount on the website, but I've been ordering a lot of new product, you guys. There are so many amazing collections coming out for this summer. I am so excited. I can't wait for everything to start to arrive. I think some of it might be coming next week. I really, really hope so because I want to get some new kits out for you. Um, but in order to make room for that, I have a few things that I would like to put on sale for you. So if you've been looking at washi tape and thickers, if you feel like you need to add to your little collection or you've been using lots and you need some more, it is buy one, get one 50% off. So it's a BOGO sale. It'll automatically take it off in your cart. So all of the washi tape on the website and all of the thickers on the website you can purchase one and then you're going to automatically get 50% off your second. Okay. So it's awesome savings. If you've been wanting to kind of pad your collection of your washi tape and especially your thickers. Um, but I just ordered a ton of new thickers. So a bunch, some of them are new and then some of them are a little bit older, but they're staples. So some different colors that you might want to add to your collection again, um, that you might be running out of, and then just some thickers that we've never carried before. So, BOGO on washi tape and thickers, okay? So buy one, get one 50% off. It's an automatic discount. I know the code works because I used it myself this morning. I went in and I went through a process and made sure that it worked. Um, I'm really sorry for the confusion on the shipping one. There was a glitch and there was nothing I could do about it. So this works, it's done, it's ready. So it's already there for you guys, okay? So sale on washi and thickers. Okay, that's it. Let's get scrapbooking. I'm gonna switch you over here. So, oh, hey, Erica, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, okay, so we had our sketch. What I did, actually, you guys know how I've been working on Emma's um, album, right? Her European, her travel album. So these layouts are going to be for her album. Okay, so what I did, so there's no photos on them. I've left the spots because I want to have her help me pick the photos that she wants for these pages. But I did two different takes on my sketch um, on these layouts, and they're just totally done and ready. So this one I did, this one I love. I think this turned out really cute. I did it on a white base. And then instead of adding the pattern paper underneath the center like I'm going to do today, I actually just added this strip of washi tape at the top and the bottom of the base. And then these pattern paper circles, these are two and a half inch circles. Okay, so remember how I said um, you could use different size circles? I wanted to show you the difference between a couple of different sizes. Okay, so this is my two and a half inch punch. I love this circle punch. I use it all the time. Um, so like I said, plain white cardstock base. It's actually, um, it's dotted Swiss to be honest with you. So I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it, I don't think the camera shows it very well. Um, but white dotted Swiss cardstock, washi tape at the top and bottom. And I just, I halved the washi tape. So I put it on and then I just flip, see, it's just flipped over on the back. So washi tape at the top and bottom. And then I've got the spaces for her for some photos. She can help figure out which photos she wants to use on this page. And then I used the paper pad, the six by eight paper pad that came with the Safe Travels collection by Simple Stories. That's what I did on both of these layouts. Um, all of these different pattern papers. And then my travel die cut, or um, cut files, you guys. Like, look at this. So the Go See Do title. And then I did that uh, with the striped pattern paper vertically and behind on all, so that it had some continuity there, because I had a lot of other pattern in here. And then this is one of our cut files. Love this. And I just backed it with one of the circles. This is one of our cut files. I backed the plane, and then I put the whole plane on a circle. So I didn't change the size of these cut files, you guys. So when I cut these, they are just the size that we designed them in, okay? So these are two and a half inch circles. So it worked super with my favorite punch, 
I was just able to put that right on top. Okay, so super fun, super easy. And then added my embellishments. And again, you guys know how I love to come off of circles, off of grids. So added a bunch of different die cuts. There's lots of layering here. The Go See Do is raised to 3D foam and then a lot of these embellishments are raised. Okay, so that's one take. Then I did this one. So this one here, I'm just gonna move this guy off a little bit. So then this one, I did a little bit different. I did the pattern paper in the center. So I did my cardstock. This is a gray dotted Swiss. And then I did the pattern paper in the center, which is this really fun um, daisy paper with the olive green background to it. Um, and then this is a three inch circle punch, okay? So the difference of course being like, if you're gonna do a three inch circle, you're likely not gonna get your three by four um, photos on this page. You could probably squish them all up and have them all be nice and tight together and have these three by fours right at the bottom of your base. Um, but it's just a little bit of a different look, right? So instead, I kept my square photos, but I'm, doing, I'm gonna do two by twos on the three inch circles. So I just spaced my circles out, obviously. Um, again, coming off of them like I did. And then this is another title from our cut files. This is the Wanderlust title, which I love. So um, broke the word in half. It's all one piece, but we've got the script for Wander and then the backed piece for Lust. Um, which I just love. And then added lots of different die cuts. This, these two circles are raised, um, and then lots of the embellishments are raised. And then I'll go ahead and when Emma decides what photos she wants to put in here, there's a little spot for her to do a little bit of journaling and tell us where she was. Um, and then these two, again, you know, this is the whole thing about the sketches is that these two layouts came off the same sketch, but they look totally different. I used the same collection, they're gonna be in the same album, but you would never know. Oh good, thank you. Oh good, I'm glad that you love them. Um, so yeah, just totally different takes on the exact same sketch, same product, same album, but you'd never know. So just, you know, it's kind of what I'm always trying to talk about with the sketches is um, you can do so much with them, right? And then of course, this one, we could turn that a couple of different ways as well, right? You could do your photos at the top. Um, and then sideways, of course, always is, is an option too. So those are my two that I did for you. And then I'm going to do one really quite to the sketch um, on, oh, thanks, Erica. Um, and then the one that I'm going to do with you today is going to be really quite, you know, on top of the sketch. So exactly kind of what you see when you look at it. So um, I'm using the two and a half inch circles again. I'm going to use a different collection and this is actually going to be for Alex's um, medical journey album, health album that I've been working on um, along with you guys for the last few months. Okay, so those are the two and then we're going to get started on the next one. So we're going to go right to the sketch. So I'm going to do a 12 by 12 cardstock base. So I'm going to do black for this one for Alex's album. So remember, I've been using the Hello Today collection um, for all of his layouts. So you got your 12 by 12 base, and then I cut my pattern paper. So I'm using, obviously, this one is um, like a ledger paper, and I cut it to 11 by 12. Okay, so I took my inch off the bottom of it because I wanted to keep um, the circles and the numbers at the top. Um, but you can obviously cut it however you like, but I just went side to side. Okay. And then that gives me that space of cardstock at the top and the bottom. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that one. I'm just going to pull out my little cart here. Okay. So again, my easy runner grand, which I know I keep talking about every week, but it is my current fave. So just gonna go ahead and adhere that one on. Okay, so 11 by 12. Oh, good, Gail, I'm glad that you love the cut files. Ah, uh, Erica, I know you love circles. <laughs> you do so many great layouts of circles. Circles are so fun. I, well, and I just love all my punches. I know that they're so old school, but I don't know, I love them. I use them anyway. So here are all my two and a half inch circles. 
So that's going to be the right size to work with the three by four, four photos on the bottom. I'm going to sand these lightly. I'm not going to do it on the table um, because I don't want to shake the camera on you guys because I think that's super unfair. Nobody will needs to feel nauseous on a Sunday morning. So you need nine circles. I did nine different patterns. Ladies, you can do whatever you like. Um, but there are so many great patterns with the Holiday Today collection. So I did nine different circles. So I'm just going to take the edge off a little bit. Because I love the white border. You guys know how I feel about my white edges. I did use the 6 by 8 pattern as well on this. Um, or sorry, pattern, uh, paper pad on this as well, just because I like the reduced size of the patterns on the paper. So rather than using um, the 12 by 12 pattern papers, so I just punched these out of the six by eight pad. So that's the thing too, ladies, when I bring in the, you know, when I cre do the creative kits and you've got all the 12 by 12 patterns, obviously those are amazing for 90% of what uh, layout scrapbookers like to use but if I offer the six by eight pad it's always such a great addition because again here I am you know 12 by 12 scrapbooking is my thing that's what I do 99% of the time but I love my paper pads I love seeing those smaller um, the reduced size on the patterns and they work so well for things like this um, and then of course when you to make a few cards at the end right so nine circles if you don't have a punch or you don't have a circle cutter um, remember what I said grab a glass go old school just trace your glass and uh, and cut out using your scissors there's nothing stopping you from doing it just because you don't have the tools right the uh, Tools just make things easier. They just make it quicker, right? And most of us are about the speed. We don't have a lot of time. We don't give ourselves near enough time to get creative and crafty. Um, so you definitely want to make use of your time when you have it for sure. So, but hey, you know what? Like my punches, like I said, obviously my punches I've had since I started my company like back in 2006. Look at these two guys this so this is my two and a half so this is a marvy like the old marvy ukaida ones so that's my two see my names on it <laughs> from years ago um so that's my two and a half inch and um and this is my three inch and look even look it even says my old company name on it um so i've had them for forever and so the way i take care of these i always punch through like if you feel like they're getting like quote unquote dull um you punch through um, a piece of tin foil and then a piece of wax paper. So if you just punch them through and it kind of sharpens them and gets them ready to go again. So these punches, like I said, they've stood the test of time. That's that is a long time that I have had those. Okay, so here's my nine circles. Now I'm just going to go ahead and figure out exactly where I want them. So. I do not want stripes together and I don't want my black and white together and I think I'm gonna go vertical on one stripe and horizontal on the other no, I like that better so I tend to like to keep so see how like I feel like these three are the more bold um, patterns so I then tend to try to keep that kind of thing a little bit separate so I'm going to try to get the bottom in here for you. I know you can't totally see that. That might be better. Oh no, Allison, you had a casualty. That is so sad, when it, especially when it's your favorite. Which one was it? I wonder if you're going to be able to get it again. Um, that's the hard thing with punches, right? Because we all keep them for so long. And then when you go to try to replace them, it's not always the easiest. You not you have a hard time finding them again. So I'm laying these out. Remember, I don't, um, I think I'm going to do this on vertical too. I do not, um, oops, sorry. I do not stick anything down until I lay it all out. So again, I 
think I know what photos, but again, we were talking recently about how emotional I am getting over all of Alex's photos from all of this that's gone on over the last six months. So I couldn't do it, girls. I, I will. I will sit down and do it, but um, I need to decide what photos I'm putting on this layout. So what I did was I just made my little markers. So they're just my little three by four markers. And I'm just putting them at the bottom. I know I want them at the bottom of this pattern paper. And then that gives me the space to play up in here with my circles, right? So then I can decide. Now, remember how I was talking about um, using your paper, right? So using the lines, using the polka dots, things like that. If you are someone that can just stick things down willy-nilly, power to you. I respect that like you would not believe. It's not in my personality. I struggle with it. So I need to have things pretty linear, especially on a grid. The cool thing about the pattern paper that I chose is that it's that ledger paper, right? So I can use my lines. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start sticking down my bottom row and then I'm going to go from there. Okay. And then I'll get my spacing figured out. I know I want to cover up the two and the six. Um, and the four here with these circles and that just gives me enough space and then same thing I'm gonna be able to come in and put a big title in here and my journaling and all kinds of embellishing in there as well right so really using your circles oh no Allison that's so sad well I hope you find a new favorite because it's really hard when you lose your favorite punch or favorite tool it is not ideal in any way <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of each of these little markers just because that's going to help me when I go to finish this. Okay, so I'm going to stick those down. How are you all doing? Does anybody need any sizes? You're all good. I've got my 3 by 4 photos at the bottom. Um, I posted, I think, I think there's one or two, um, on our stories on Instagram. There were a couple of really great takes on this sketch. Some ladies that actually worked with the sketch after we posted it on Friday. Uh, and one of them was so good. It's using um, one of our circle background cut files. And she made it smaller. And then she put, so she put our circle cut file up here instead of punching circles. And it looks so good. Um, so make sure you check out the stories on Instagram and see how she did that. It was a really, really cool tip. And then um, Lindsay, I think you're on here, but Lindsay did a really great take on it as well. And she used our Grow With Me cut file. And um, it looks so good, like so good. I love how that came together, Lindsay. Um, and I know you backed that a long time ago and you just hadn't, um, hadn't finished the layout and it looks really, really good. So there's some ideas there for you as well. I'm gonna step back. My voice is gonna get quiet for two seconds. I just need to grab some more 3D foam, two seconds. Literally two seconds. That's all how that's how long it took. I've uh, been going through 3d foam like it's going out of style Using it like crazy, but I have more on order. There's still lots on the website, but I ordered more So the circles and the squares and I also actually ordered some black 3d foam so for those of you that um, Want to use some of that that is actually on order as well. So it shouldn't be too much longer before that comes, so lots and lots of new product, tons of cardstock. I wanna say I ordered like maybe a hundred new colors, and I'm not exaggerating. Like so much new cardstock, you guys. Um, I'm really excited to get a bunch of colors in. I've got a new organizational system that I'm using. Um, I'm actually gonna be using a filing cabinet, a really big filing cabinet, which I love. And um, so I'm really excited to get all of these new colors of cardstock here for you. That's really fun. And apparently I cannot take backing off of 3D foam today. I um, shortened my nails. I know we've talked about that before. Not that anybody cares. Again, today is a day where I'm just like telling you stuff whether you wanna hear it or not. Um, I shortened my nails because I, I don't like having them long. I feel like I can't function. But now I feel like I cut them too short and I can't function. Um, yeah, oh, good, Lindsay. Oh, I'm glad you're trying it again. No, that worked out really well. It's really, really cute. Um, 
Yeah, no, I, I love it too, Carolyn. Yeah, it's so fun to see everybody's takes on all the sketches. That's what I love because they're, they're never, they're never going to look the same, right? So, um, so cool. Okay. I think I'm straight. Again, I don't want to lean over too far because you don't need to see the top of my head um, in the camera. But I'm just going to start sticking these down. I'm going to raise a couple. And then uh, raise a couple and then a couple flat. And then I'll put some raised embellishments. And I might even put another. I really like the two by twos on the circles in this one. And though these circles are bigger... Um, I still might put a couple of photos in here. I haven't decided yet. So you guys will see when I post this one. Um, this one will likely go up on Tuesday. So you will see when I post it what I ended up deciding. But I'll probably do a little more raising of a few more things. And then I will, I will decide on some photos. I will make myself sit down and do that. Yes, Lindsay, I totally agree. I have to say, though, the only dots that I'm personally carrying are the American Crafts. Um, but having said that, I also find, I feel like when I stick them down, so like even just putting them down now, so like I put those on, but now I'm doing like a really hard push. So yeah, once I do my push, I feel like we're fine, but um, yeah, but also too, I only use these because I like the thickness of these best out of anything. So um, the, th the American Crafts 3D Foam is my favorite, but again, here's the thing, you know what, there's probably somebody on here that hates the American Crafts 3D Foam. So like, I think it's just, all of that is such a personal thing. Everybody has their favorites. Um, I just, I only carry what I use and what I love and what I feel, um, strongly enough about to stand behind. I, that's the thing. Like I, over the years, you guys, I've had this, I've worked in this industry for so many years now and had had my business for so long. I've just kind of learned to, um, trust my gut, use what I love and always open to suggestions. If you guys have suggestions or there's things you want to see, I am happy to try new product um, and see how it works. Um, but this is just a 3D foam that I love. But like I said, there's probably somebody on here that doesn't like it, so it's all good. Um, Word stickers. Oh, what do you mean you've had them missing a letter or two? You're getting packages of product and it's missing letters, Carolyn? I'm trying to understand what you're saying. That's not cool if there's things missing. If there's things missing and you've bought them from me, please let me know. Um, because I can go back to the manufacturer and have that replaced. I'll replace that for you. So... If something is um, is wrong with your order, please let me know. Uh, because you know what? Here's the thing. At the end of the day, you got to remember when they're making these, like when the manufacturer is making, the, getting these products made, they're making like, I mean, tens of thousands at a time. So definitely there's, you know, bound to be a mistakes, mistakes. I've had that happen for sure. But if it's something that you've purchased from me, please do let me know because I'm happy to replace that for you. Um, okay, I feel like that's crooked on your screen. I'm sorry. Here, I'll twist it. I think it's just my camera that's crooked. Um, oh, there. Maybe that's a little bit better. So anyway, this is where I'm going to leave this one with you today because I'm going to pick those photos and I am going to add a title in here and all my little embellishments um, and a little bit of journaling too. So that's where I'm going to leave this one. But this one is exactly like the sketch and looks awesome like I love the sketch I love it but like I said the fact that you can take this sketch and create that and then also create that so and then again I could a thousand percent go ahead and do it like that again and it would be different and that again and it would be different so um you know definitely keep that in mind um, just because we did it this way doesn't mean we can't do it um, a bunch of other different ways as well, right? So that's where I'm leaving that. 
remember to post and tag and share and all the things and you will get um be put have your name put in the draw for um there we go, for the $10 off your next order, okay? So I will post those um, as well. Someone had asked me recently, well, actually a lot of someone's, I'm really sorry, uh, about the scrap sheets. Yes, well, I'm 1,000% behind on those. They're created, I think we've got three that we still have to put together. Um, that's on me, you guys. That is just my life over the last couple of months with Alex. I could not add one more thing to my plate. So um, that is what this summer is going to be. Danine and I are already starting to work on catching up again. I feel like we've been trying to play catch up for a little bit, of, a little while now, but um I promise they're coming. So, you know, they're always on the social media. So you can always go back, obviously, onto Instagram and onto Facebook, and you'll always see them there. Um, and then you can watch the video back. And that's the cool thing about the playback on Facebook, right? So you can always like rewind and fast forward and all of the things. So the scrap sheets are just this great little complimentary piece that we try to offer you. We will be offering them again. Um, like I said, it that's on me. That's just how life has been for the last couple of months. So, um, yeah, I agree, Lindsay. Not quite as good as they were, but I think um, lots of things always change, right? Companies are always trying to find different ways, better ways, local ways maybe, and trying different adhesive types. So, um, I think that's probably where it's at. Oh, yeah, that's frustrating, Carolyn, for sure. Like I said, if there's ever a problem with something that you've ordered from me, do reach out because um, I'm happy to do what I can for you, for sure. Oh, thanks, Madeline. Yeah, it'll be super fun. Oh, hey, Laura. Yes, you definitely caught you definitely caught me live. That's awesome today, for sure. Um. Okay, I think that's all. I wanted to touch really quickly. I did, if you don't follow my Instagram, you should. I do a lot of story posting. Um, so that's a really great way where you'll find out just like little bits, things that I won't make like big posts on. Uh, but one of the things that I had let you know recently was that the Simple Stories is a little bit delayed and that's just a shipping delay. Um, manufacturers not doesn't have the product all of the product in stock yet so um, on these new releases so it's a little bit of a delay it's going to come in June which is fine like I said I've got lots of other things coming and it's almost June anyway so you know whatever um, but lots of fun new things coming out in the next like six eight weeks there's going to be lots of product coming out um, so all your summer your camping um, there's a great collection that I think would be incredible for a uh, stampede for um, past photos I don't know I heard rumblings that it's happening this year I don't know if that's happening or not I'm not sure exactly how they're going to have stampede this year but regardless there's going to be a collection of paper that I think would be amazing for stampede photos um so some really really fun things and then I did post on the stories this morning did any of you see the new doodle bug release it's so cute the name's fallen out of my head I feel like it's called like let's get crafty or crafty something anyway freaking cute like so cute you don't even have to be a doodle bug lover because I doodle bug is very cutesy which I think is adorable but even if it's not totally your style it's amazing you guys it's going to give you the opportunity to craft some of your crafty times so whether you've gone to events or taken classes or your zoom like our zoom classes where you've taken photos of the fact that we're scrapbooking on zoom or on facebook lives any of that it's a really cute collection so I'm bringing that in um I don't know, it'll arrive sometime in the next few weeks. And it's super, super cute. I'm going to try to order quite a bit of it because I think that every crafter should have it. I think it's just, you know, when you talk, we talk a lot about um, getting us in our albums and in our scrapbooking. I think collections like this are just a really great way to get what we do, right? So like we love to craft. We need to, need to do all of these things. This is a great way to get into your album a little bit about this, what we do, our crafting, right? Your family needs to know how you spent your time. Obviously, they're going to have the albums, but it's so it's just a super, super cute little line. Um, I totally love it. Yes. Oh, Kristen, I know you are a doodle bug lover. I know you love it. Um, it's it's cute. So it's coming. 
So anyway, a couple of things that we talked about today. Again, just a reminder, creative team application deadline that cuts off on Tuesday. Make sure that if you do want to try to be a part of this team that you get your application before then. Um, congratulations again to Naomi. Your package will go out this week. Um, and $10 for your next purchase if your name is drawn from doing one of the layouts that we did today. Um, and then shopping, BOGO. So buy one, get one 50% off on all of the washi and all of the thickers. No code required. It's going to take it out of your cart right away when you're shopping. So um, get those orders in before all the new product comes in. Okay. Oh my gosh, Vicky, that hot glue gun is so freaking cute. Their little happy faces on everything. It is like seriously one of the cutest collections that they've done. I love it so much. So um, anyway, thank you for spending your Sunday morning with me on a long weekend. So those of you that are camping and watching this on playback, I hope you had a great weekend and that you had a drink around the campfire for me. Um, and for those of you that joined me live this morning, thank you so much for taking time out of your morning. I love this time with you and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you all really soon. Okay. Love you guys. Have a great rest of the weekend. Bye.